Mary Sibande's work ties her experiences in post-apartheid South Africa with those of her mother and grandmother, both domestic laborers. Um, and I felt the need to, to celebrate these women because I was able to acquire or um, get a degree at a university. Unlike my grandmother who wanted to be a nurse but she couldn't because of her race and, and gender. Her Lonely the Queen series is based on stories her grandmother told her. Now, Sibande has received an award from the Smithsonian National Museum of African Art. I told my grandmother um, when I received the news, um, she was very emotional. Um, she was very happy and she was like, actually, I wasn't aware that while I was telling my story, you were taking notes. And for me, I was like, this is it. This is it. I made this work for people like my grandmother. She says the work has resonated here because apartheid in South Africa and the legacy of American slavery are like cousins. Both these countries or this continent, these countries have they've created um, um, institutions to create um, to to limit the black body. I've, I've heard a lot of people coming to me. It's like, oh, we, we love your work and. And we get it, we relate to it, uh, we see it. And for me, I was like, wow, actually, this work um, to, be, to be recognized in this continent, um, it's amazing. Mary Sabande's recognition comes at a time when this museum is attempting to expand our definition of what African art is and can become with this major new permanent exhibition. It's entitled Visionary Viewpoints on Africa's Arts and features over 300 works demonstrating the huge variety and richness of African art across the centuries and into the present day. I think what's really interesting and exciting about this exhibition is that it's attempting to give our visitors as broad and holistic a picture about of the history of African art um, reception and um, display and circulation as has been done before, yeah. to understand why these objects were made, who made them, how did, and how did they get here. In other words, the curators and Mary Sabande herself see their role as in some sense restoring the lost histories of these objects and the people who originally brought them to life. Daniel Wrenches, CGTN, Washington.